Hi everyone, it's Catriona here. Um, just wanted to just do a quick um, tutorial for you all. Um, this is just a uh, one that I made recently for Valentine's Day. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. Very, very simple card to make. Really, really easy. Um, so the stamp sets that I'm actually going to be using are Posh Pots. Most of the um, card is actually made up of using this this stamp here um, also the single leaf that I used that one out of the blown away set and English rose which is obviously very apt at this time of year with Valentine's Day coming up so <clears throat> really really straightforward first of all um, just a 6x6 six six card not a, a a big card at all. You can do it in a 7x7 seven seven if you wish, but you know, I just find it quite um, compact just to do it on a 6x6 six six card. So just get my stamping platform out here. Um, it's the stamping platform for me is just a, an absolute godsend. I can't do freehand, especially if you're sort of doing two different colours, um, especially in roses and stuff like that, because you want to get the colour quite deep. So I certainly find it, you know, much more easier just to to use the stamping platform for it. Um, so first of all, we will put the heart in first. Okay, so just pop that in there. Just leaving yourself enough room for to be able to put some of the leaves and, and whatever. Now I tend not to, to do this, um, the branches, in a really, really dark colour um, because I just want a softer kind of effect. So we'll just move that up there a wee bit. There we go. So first of all what I actually do is, I, I, in one of your ink pads that you've probably got that's not particularly new. This is an ever, the Versicolor Evergreen one. What I tend to do is go around that one first, um, just to give you the sort of outline in the green first of all. Might just, it just gives us a wee kind of soft kind of outline first. it just makes it a wee bit softer than you know using a harsh kind of brown and then just a wee bit of brown there just gives it to me a wee bit more realistic rather than you know harsh brown branches So it just doesn't look as, as sort of harsh. So that was a like a used or a semi-dry kind of evergreen and I've put pine cone obviously in the other one just to sort of tone it in. So what I then move on to is put the roses in first because I just find that um, it's just easier to balance if you put the sort of roses in first and just make sure the way that you're actually positioning them. So we we'll want that one to be going up the way. Just take that off there. Just make sure that's not moved. Now you can do two colours of the roses. Obviously this is a Valentine's theme card, so predominantly the roses are going to be red. Um, however, what you've maybe seen in some of the other cards that I've done with regards like doing different colours because you, I just wanted to get the effect of the yellow roses with a bit of a hint of red, pink, whatever, you know, in it just to make it look a bit more kind of real looking. 
but with this one um, I'm just obviously just going to do two shades of red um, and what I'm using is the Versa Fine Crimson Red and the Versa Fine Satin Red because I feel that they're both they're very deep and rich so we just pop that just lightly don't over press it because it'll distort the stamp okay so then we'll move to maybe put one here and you can get the second generation as well um, I'm just going to put that different shade of red for that one just breaks up a wee bit it's the other one that I used I think it was um, it was one of the Versa colour ones I think it was for the, the one that I did originally just put one in there Make sure I've put it the right way. Could do that one going up the way there. It's just a lovely wee stamp. You know to do. So that's that one I've done. It's really um, a nightmare when it comes to stamps. I'm such a pedophile. Especially these wee ones. I'm always frightened in case I lose some of them. Um, so, just a slight change to the original one that I actually did. What I'm going to do with this one is um, use the Versa Fine Clear. Um, because I find that one is, is you know, um, just a dead versatile to use. And it's, it's just a nice shade of green. And you can get really quite good sort of second generation stamping with them. So, you know, so it looks a bit more realistic a wee bit. Um, and 
still with the um, leaves. I'm just going to use this wee one here that I'm blown away. Um, so that it's just like a... Might go a couple of wee loose leaves. Kind of coming down here so we'll cover that wee bob there. So that's oops it is. So that's that part of so just for the wee sticky bit in the pot. So you can use the you know the bigger of the if you wanted to you could use that one which I think is the one that probably fits into here. But I just like the single one. The single one. So just join that one in there. I'll need to go up a wee bit because I've not left myself enough room. But hey, that's what it is. So I'll maybe just move that up a tad and just make sure that we don't stamp the top. So I won't stamp the top part of it, <coughs> just because I've moved it down a, a wee squidgy. Um, so, just with a pine cone first of all. base colour on now this is a versa colour cocoa that's the reason for this and then just to give that a wee bit dimension just go round the side with pine cone at that side and then that hides that <laughs> bulb there. There's always something that you can stick on to cover up a mistake. You know, because it happens all the time when you need to know. Mistakes go on. Um, so, we'll now put... Uh, you can also put in, um, if you wanted, do you know, the, you know the stamp that's got the like it's like gravel, but I've just left it out. Just, but you can. There's so many different things that you can do with the stamps. 
so hopefully nice there we'll cover that bulb up like so just ever so slightly move that in and we'll have this one here there we go and we just stamp that in Versa colour, Noctum, which is the black, eh, sorry, Versa fine clear, Noctum. pretty much us kind of done the sort of stamping. Let's get rid of that for now. So as you can see it's so straightforward. It's you know um, just so easy and quick to do, you know, quick cap. And don't want the plant pot sort of floating in midair so you can actually pull some of that ink down a wee bit because it might still be a wee bit sort of damp as you can see it is a wee bit oh there's a black splodge but hey never mind um, what I would just do in that situation is I would actually just put your card through the guillotine and cut that bit off makes the card a wee bit smaller but it's all good. <clears throat> Just need to have depending obviously on where you need to be. Just till I get one of these. But what I would do as well is just just ground it a wee bit. So you can just get a wee bit of grey. A bit of scrap paper. And then that just grounds the pot so that it's um and then just break up the shadow all the way down. Like so. And that's that. And that should be it. So you can, you know, you can add some hearts or something like that, like what I, I sort of did in the original one here. Um, just put put in some wee hearts and whatever, like he was holding wee hearts. So you can add that and sort of flourish to it. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just, so that's going to annoy me. So I'm just going to cut that off. had been made. <clears throat> now what sometimes I do is just you can just go round with a um, fine liner pen to fill the open pot. And it's just it just kind of just adds a wee bit. You can even um, just kind of touch the leaves a wee bit. Just adds a wee bit more. Black always makes things pop, so it's just. Um, I don't know a wee bit there. Just don't want it sort of over the top. And then you can add some white touches to it if you want as well. Sometimes that can be quite effective, you know, just um, you know, just maybe making the plant pot a wee bit kind of 
meant to do with him. Okay, and there we have it. Um, just a wee quick card. Um, very quick and simple to do. Okay, so thanks very much for popping in to watch it and I'll uh, catch you all soon on the Facebook page. Okay, thank you. Bye.